I created multiple cases and uh, attachments for the synchronous motors using my 3D printer. I'm going to put the links for the STL files on the uh, description and you could print them out or some businesses will print out these models for you. I don't think it's worth it for me to print them all out and then sell them on eBay or something. It just seems like, I don't know, too much work. So, uh, yeah, I have multiple different attachments. If you wanted like a rotating uh, type of an attachment, um, you know, for the forward and backward moment uh, motions that you do on to uh, some things like the skeletons, their heads or their arms or something. And then this little case I have right here is for the back and forth. So I put multiple holes in it so you could have the longer uh, turns or shorter turns depending on what you want for it to look like. So you could just kind of move down these pegs wherever you want and that'll determine how far it'll turn left or right or take them all out to do like a 360. But I use these a lot when I'm doing my builds because of turning heads. I mean, it's the easiest prop to make with these synchronous motors is turn heads that turn. These are my standard attachments that goes on the motor and with a half PVC pipe. Now working off the same attachment, this is the attachment for uh, the back and forth movement. That little bar will hit the side panels, have it go back and forth. Below it is like a little circular attachment if you wanted to do like rotating movements. Most of the cases that I have here have them set up um, that you could put screws on both sides of it. So like right here, you would, you could put them, you know, to put them down on PVC or the wood. And so I'm just using this one because it's a smaller one. So I made two holes, one that you could put the wire through the back here or one that goes below. So you just take it and you put it through the hole there and then it'll fit right up onto it. I have this little knobby thingy here that you're able to put that here. It'll fit right over it. And right here is a hole here. You could put a screw to hold it into place. And the wire comes out this way. So you have it like set and like that. Or you could put the wire through the bottom one here. And it works. It works the same. Now, these attachments that I got, like this one here, you know, the purpose of this one is it's going to turn and go like that. that off and this is how it looks and this is just one of my smaller cases